Well, hey guys, I hope your week is off to a good start. Last night when I came home, <laughs> look what was in my mailbox. Actually, not my mailbox, my mail room. My Fat Fit Fun box. I was so surprised because for whatever reason, the past few boxes I have been, they've come kind of late, but this one actually came, came just in time. So I thought I would film an unboxing early this morning so I can get this up for you guys. Um, I know a lot of a lot of people are filming their unboxings. And I, I want to be in the club too, the Fab Fit Fun Club. Like, <laughs> look at her. Um, all right, I don't even know who this gal is. Uh, Rocky Barnes, Rocky Barnes, everything in her bag this summer. As usual, there's always one of these fancy little newsletters in here. It has all sorts of fun stuff in it um, and tells you about, about everything. But I don't want to look too much into it because I don't want to give anything away to myself. Rocky Barnes. It's kind of a cool name for, for a gal, Rocky, like a uh, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> all right. Ooh, they put a cute strawberry sticker on the, on the uh, wrapping paper. That's sweet. I love strawberries. Speaking of strawberry, I've been really enjoying that... Um, True, true lemon, um, strawberry lime lemonade stuff that I got. Um, highly recommend. But ooh, 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 ooh! Oh, there's some stuff in here that I am excited about. FYI, I did actually get to kind of uh, pick and choose some things. Um, I figured out how to do that. Aren't you guys proud of me? I'm learning all of these new skills, like, like how to post to my Instagram highlight reel, how to uh, customize my FabFit Fun Box. I don't know, pretty soon I'll learn how to tie my shoes and tell time. But anyways, oh dear, the first thing in here is from Pier 1 Imports. I have to say, every time I go into Pier 1, I mean, they've got some great stuff in there, but everything's like overpriced. And I heard that they were going out of business. Um, but anyways, after I just like reamed on Pier 1, let's see, let's see what they sent me from Pier 1 here. They sent, hoo -doo -doo. oh, a dish. <laughs> Um, okay, that's that's actually really pretty. Believe it or not, um, and now that I know how to post to my highlight reel on Instagram, maybe I can um, take a suitable photo um, using this pretty dish. Look, it's like it's like white and um, marbly. That's kind of that's pretty. You know, at nighttime I take off my earrings, and um, I, I like to have a little place to set them. So this is handy. Um, I actually might use that. It's not the kind of thing I would ever buy, but I'm glad to have it. So, thanks, Pier One. What else do we have in here? I, this is something I know I'm not going to use. The tart, the tardy, the tardiest, really, really, the tardiest. Please, please choose another name. Okay, the tardiest Pro Glow, tardiest Pro Glow highlight and contour palette. Actually, actually, I may be creative and think of a use for this. <laughs> and it will not involve me wearing makeup. This is some sort of makeup gizmo that has um, no mineral oil or parabens in it. Okay, and it's dermatologist tested. Oh, I see iron oxides in here. So it's going to get you some coverage into visible light. That's good. A little bit, maybe. Ooh, what nice packaging. Wow. For those of you who like makeup, this, this seems like it, I don't know, I'm assuming this is kind of expensive. This Tardiest Pro Glow. I feel like it's kind of wasted on me. Um, ooh, these are really pretty colors, believe it or not. Um, these are actually colors that if I could be bothered with all this stuff, I might choose for myself. Um, you know, they're sort of boring colors. You know who will like these colors, actually, is my mom. These are the colors that I see in her in her makeup drawer of eyeshadows. Ooh, I love the mirror, that mirrors. They have mirrors on either side. Sorry, that might be blinding you. Um, ooh, hello. <laughs> I just put a bunch of sunscreen on my face. I'm checking my cast. <laughs> That's neat. It's kind of a interesting little snap-a-doodle package. They sent me a drinking straw? Oh, come on. Really? This straw saves marine life. Visit give, give sip us. They sent me a drinking straw? All right. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. Should I open it? Fun fact, <laughs> I always kind of, I always kind of blab and go off on tangents in these FabFitFun unboxings, but we had a cat, and, and you know, cats and children, no offense, I feel like animals and children sort of are similar in that. You could buy them the most expensive toy, and they tend to be um, most amused and most entertained and drawn to just random objects. And 
we had a cat at one point who, um, at one point, uh, we had a cat who was obsessed with plastic drinking straws. Um, I mean, she would love to chew on them, chase them around. Um, so this makes me think of her. Um, I can see through the paper. I don't want to take it off, but it's got sweet little turtles on it. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. See, I don't get how a straw, a drinking straw could save marine life. It, it must be biodegradable. All right, what else do we have in here? Farm to face. Oh dear, I'm afraid. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. This is uh, the Kula SPF 50 Sport sunscreen. Kula makes some decent sunscreens, believe it or not. They're organic, vegan, and um, are they? I assume they're cruelty free. TSA approved. What is this? This is this is just a chemical sunscreen, I believe. Moisturizing, hydrating. Let's see. Yeah, it just has avabenzone and octinoxate in it. So this isn't great. I mean, you put this on and your UVA coverage is is going to decline uh, pretty, pretty predictably. Um, you know, if this were a mineral exact, I know they have a, I'm pretty sure they have a mineral exact exclusive sunscreen and that's a better choice than this. This just has avabenzone, avabenzone, 3%, that's all you're getting for your UVA from this. This is not, this is not good enough. I mean, particularly, they're calling this a sports sunscreen. If you go out and do sports with this, um, you, you know, you're going to have to be calling a, a half time every two seconds to reapply the, the UVA on this. I wouldn't, if you play sports or you're active or you're outdoors, um, sweating. I wouldn't rely on. I wouldn't rely on Ava Benzone exclusively. It's just it's too high maintenance. I mean, you put it on in the UVA. The UVA is fleeting. In the U.S., we only allow it in our sunscreens at three percent. So it's like, see, in Europe, you, in Japan, you can get away with higher Ava Benzone, and they put other better filters in in as well that stabilize Ava Benzone that we don't have here because we're slowed slow to arrive to the party. We're just late on that one. Oh, cute. What is this little? This is a, this is made by a minor history. Okay. I never, I mean, me never hearing of some sort of fashion brand is, is an irrelevant point. I, I don't keep up with stuff like that. Um, but this is kind of handy. You know, I've got some business cards that I towed around um, and uh, that sort of thing. Oh, you know what I'm going to keep this, use this for? My Costco executive membership. And my uh, Kroger's, uh, my, Kroger, my Kroger card. Kroger and Costco are going in this little thing. That is for sure. Those are like my, my most ex accessed pieces of plastic in my wallet or the, the Costco card. <laughs> All right, what else do we have here? Um, okay, we have, oh God, this. I know I'm gonna get questions about this. I knew it was coming. Eh. This is the Luna Fofo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the name, the Fofo. <laughs> the Luna Fofo Foreo Smart Beauty Coach Facial Cleansing Brush. This is basically, have you guys ever seen those Sonic, uh, Sonicare, Sonicare uh, toothbrushes that, that they beep and they tell you when to, to move uh, to the other side of your teeth? I used to use one of those. Um, and they're nice, those toothbrushes are nice be for people like me who, who tend to, to be really aggressive with the brushing. And this Luna Foreo is sort of the same principle um, as the Sonic as the Sonicare toothbrush in that uh, it just tells you when to move the thing around. Um, you know, and if you're somebody who scrubs your face a lot, this kind of, this kind of is like training wheels to help you around that. There's an app. Oh wow, an app to wash your face. Okay, whatever. Um, I know this is not superior to just washing your washing your face. At least, uh, you know, I haven't seen any data showing me that. There is one small tiny study that I saw at a meeting looking at these things and I was not really impressed in the meeting in the uh, and the little study was sponsored by um, by L'Oreal, I think. So, who knows how good that was. Oh, we have an Elements Papaya Enzyme Peel. This uh, papaya is like, um, you know, a, a fruit um, alpha hydroxy acid. 
some people really really tend to like that what does this have in it? oh it has fragrance in it why 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 lms yeah i wouldn't recommend this this is a british brand it has all right these are the fragrance ingredients citronel citronellol geraniol limonene citral mint and mentha arvensis mint leaf oil cumin cumin i mean I think we can all figure out that cumin has a, has a pretty strong smell. All of that is in here and that is all fragrance. Do not use this if you have sensitive skin, if you have rosacea, if you are allergic to fragrance. Um, I almost just wouldn't recommend using this. I don't even need... Oh, and in addition to the fragrance ingredients, it also has fragrance. I, I wouldn't recommend this whatsoever to really anyone. Um, but uh, maybe I will... You know what I'm going to use that for? I am out of my... I've been out of my carousel foot ointment, and I have been out of my... I also enjoy the Alpha Alpha Care foot... has a foot... Uh, has a foot cream. I'm out of, I'm gonna use that on my feet. Use that on my feet. All right, moving right along, what is this? Earth jewelry. Okay, this looks like, do people still pierce their navel? That was really, really popular, I don't know, however, however long ago. People would always get their navel pierced and like not want to tell their parents and then it would become infected and they'd be in the house of pain. Um, and they. I just remember that as being a being a thing, a popular thing to, to sneak and pierce your navel, and then 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 they'd always pay the consequences of it. But I haven't really seen that. But anyways, uh, ran, ramble aside, this earth jewelry it kind of looks like like some sort of is this a ring? Actually, I think I picked this. <laughs> it's a ring. That's actually really pretty. It looked like something that you know those those navel rings I used to have. How do I even get this off? All right, let's see. I'll show you guys. I have the tiniest fingers. Um, it's really hard for me to ever find rings that, that fit. I should have my finger size so I know, but I don't really wear I don't really wear rings, so but personal pet peeve drives me berserk is when I watch the Food Network or any sort of cooking show. And I mean, this is just the most disgusting thing I find when the the demonstrator, the food preparer, is using their hands and they have their rings on. To me, that is that is that is you know E. coli waiting to happen right there. It just grosses me out. And I, you'll see a lot of you know professional cooks, professional chefs doing that on those cooking shows. I'm like, don't you know better? Stop, stop. Even if it's just for you or your family, ew, you know how much goop and gunk gloms on underneath your, you know, between your finger and the underside of your ring. And then you're like, especially when it's like, they're making burgers and they're in there in the ground beef. It's just like, oh God, stop. You're, you're giving me, you're giving me irritable bowel just thinking about that. Ugh. Um, anyways, <laughs> Um, so I won't obviously be wearing this when I, uh, when I make veggie burgers, but isn't that pretty? It actually does fit. Oh, cool. Here, let's, let's, let's pretend we're on QVC. Isn't, isn't, um, isn't QVC one of the most relaxing things if you can't sleep? I don't have TV, but my mother does, and we really enjoy watching QVC. I mean, honestly, I tried the Josie Marin sunscreen just because of, of QVC, like watching watching the model put it on. I was just like, it's hypnotic, all right? It's like, <laughs> they do all of these things. I swear they're, I swear they're hypnotizing us. All right, the last thing in here I'm kind of stoked about is what looks like a makeup bag. Even though I don't wear makeup, I have a ton of skincare that I'm toting around all the time. This is Yumi Kim. Oh, this is really cute. It is a, um, look how pretty that is. It is a um, toiletry bag. That is very handy. Who is, who is Yummy Kim? Yumi Kim? Yumi Kim. So, let's see. It's got a bottom and then what's the top layer? Ooh, I'm at, oh, okay, this is for makeup brushes, whatever. I'm not gonna ever eat makeup. But that's nice. This is a really nice, nicely designed makeup bag. Um, not that I wear makeup, but I will be, definitely be using this for skin skincare. Um, you know, you could put I don't know, lip balms in there. Stuff will fit in there. This is really nice. Oh, and there's a fifty dollar gift card to Yumi Kim. What is Yumi Kim? I, I'm gonna have to check out Yumi Yumi Kim. Yumi Kim. Oh, okay. Here's yum. Here's Yumi. Yumi, Yumi, Yummy, 
Can you hear me? How do you say your name? I think we should be friends. She's made a very nice, uh, a very nice uh, train case here for storing your storing essentials. Design with intention. I agree. It, it was. It, it's got a logical construction. The Yumi Kim makeup train case draws inspiration from founder Oh Kim Fan. Oh, she's Vietnamese and upbringing. Fan shares. I hope I'm saying that right. Fan Fan. Um, I struggle with Vietnamese pronunciations. Shares about the design process, packing tips, and where she gets her inspiration. Prints are a huge part of your brand. So the other thing about FabFitFun is, you know, you can go onto the site and buy more stuff. Um, and so um, if, to, to entice you to do that, they, they give you some coupons in the back. So there's one for the, if you can get 15% off if you want another Fofo, Foreo Fofo. Um, $60 off of, $10 off orders of $60 or more from Tarte. Uh, for those of you who are makeup makeup lovers, that expires September 1st. All the coupons expire September 1st. Wonderful. $15 off an order of $75 or more for LMS. I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, wonderful. I have to say, the Fat Fit Fun Boxes continue to be fab. They, they continue to get fabber and continue to, to decline in the fit. They need to drop the fit. There's no fit in this. Nothing in here was fit. I mean, putting, putting a, a supposed sport sunscreen in does not constitute fit. Um, everything in here was awesome with the exception of even the makeup, which I'm, you know, my mother will use this. This is very nice. Very nice. Um, the, the lamest thing in here in my mind is the papaya enzyme peel. I pro I personally would not have uh, ever, I would never buy this, uh, but um, I'm kind of excited to try it out. Maybe I will review this for you all. Would you like to see that? Comment below. Um, I think that would be fun for me to test this out. Um, I don't think this is necessarily bad, but um, is it worth it? I doubt it, but I think it'd be fun to try it out for you guys. So comment below and if you would like to see that at some point. But yeah, overall, I've been really happy with the FabFitFun boxes. Um, I'm still wearing, this came in my box last month, last, not last month, last season. And I've been wearing this every night. It's really nice. It does a great job masking the light. My mom is loving the um, Corez brand um, scented guava body lotion. Loves that stuff. And what else have we been using from the, I never wore those uh, pink flamingo looking earrings. It's really a little bit too, too dangly for me. I, but I like the, I like the ring. And my prior FabFitFun box, I loved that necklace. So uh, yeah, I've really gotten a lot of, a lot of wins from, from FabFitFun. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the blinky light here. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I recommend the FabFitFun box. It's one of the funner boxes I've ever received and so I, I recommend it. It comes seasonally and it's a lot of fun. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>